Okay then. So I'm here, but where is, oh, Aelin's over here too. Oh my days, Kai, you're okay. Uh, what time is it? Everyone's out looking for you. I just had to stop and pick a few berries. I, I missed the meal and the baby is... Oh, they're covering up her belly. Oh, never mind. I'm so glad you're okay. You've got to head back into town. Tell everyone you're okay. I'll just slow you down. Quickly, go! Covering up her belly. She's had her baby! Was all this doom and gloom about the flood just a distraction? I think it was. And I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker! Oh my! My heart is hammering and I feel lightheaded. But you're safe! Uh, I'm sorry if I scared you. So you should be. I could barely face your mother. I was so certain you had been lost. Never have been so happy to be proved wrong. Forgive me, Kai. Seems you were much stronger than I was able to give you credit for. It was your research that helped me work it all out. As much as I would like to sit here and hear you flatter me... You must head up and see your mother. Do you know that she's here? And Nano is all about all but recovered. We will talk more later. For now, make haste. Make haste. I guess I'm supposed to go to my um grandpa's house. But we'll look around first. We'll talk to Bopek. Life's just going on for Bopek. <laughs> Bibbity! Bibbity! Uh, everything okay, Bo? Kai! Everyone was very, very... Uh, there was shouting and worrying. It upset me. I had to, to come here and sit and, and try to sing. You want me to leave you alone? I just want to sing a little longer. Bibbity! Alright, you do that. Um, let's go check uh, Jale and see if he has any any words about this. I noticed Dennis is not here, and I can't talk to Princess, but I can talk to the sausages! A little to the right. No, no, our right! Are we even working with the tree is healthy again? Because dirt is nice, and it contains absolutely no mermaids! The rhythmic shoveling helps me think. Okay, guys. Woohoo! We've been working all this time, and finally, finally, Papu's healthy again. Seems we have been operating on a faulty hypothesis. There's no proof we didn't contribute. Maybe without all the fertilization, Papa would have died. Well, without a control, it is hard to say. Okay. Poor Dennis. He doesn't want to hear that all of his work was for nothing. He's just glad that they got there. You're okay. Listen, I'm sorry. Everyone is looking for you. You didn't try to go to the Fung, did you? I'm not stupid. I thought if you came out of there... I thought if you came out dangerous this time, I could protect people. You were going to stab me? I, I don't know. You should go find everyone. They're worried. Damn, she was waiting for me to come out, and if I was... 
if I was dangerous, she was going to kill me? Oh my god. I love all the all the personality and all the characters, right? Um, I don't remember who did I watch. Was it the interview with the with the? It was. So, oh, what was that? I think that was just a plan. The interview with the lead writer for this. It may have been her. It may have been somebody else. I don't remember. Talking about narratives. And um. And how people remember characters in video games and not necessarily stories. You've got to sell people on characters that they'll love or hate and will last. And that's how games get remembered. Generally speaking, of course. Maybe not always the case, but... And I think this game did a fantastic job of that. I like all the characters. They all have their own personalities. I care for them in different ways. And... That's what makes this game amazing. To me, at least, I think. Well, now. I knew everyone was making a fuss for no reason. Your mama was fretting the whole journey here. Told her there'd be nothing to fear. Go for a trek into the wild, did ya? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Good job I was on my supply run. Found her wandering around the docks. Damsel in distress. Came to a rescue and gave her safe passage. Oh my god, we got a new dad. Mighty fine look a woman, matter of fact. Don't suppose she's looking for a bit of. <laughs> I'm going now. Yeah, sit yourself. Gotta get back in the game somehow. Poor Grobber. I feel like Grobber got screwed a little bit, but whatever. He ain't perfect. But I don't think he's a bad person. So, Spikes? We haven't checked Spikes. I should go into Spikes. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. You're safe and sound. I just came to brew everyone some coffee. We've been out looking for you night and day. I woke up in the temple. Oh. I. Don't you go wasting time talking to me. Your mom's here. She's with Nano at his place. And they're all worried out of their minds. Go, go. I'm going to miss everyone so much. Is mom taking me back? I guess if grandpa is recovered, that would be... That would make sense. Maury's is closed. I'm guessing she's up with grandpa then. Poor Yoki can't go up there. Um, uh, Before I go in, I want to see what's up here. I want to go in here. To see absolutely nothing. Alright, I want to go up here. That's hello, shaman. No, nothing. That leaves Grandpa and everybody who's visiting him. There she is, Kai. Oh, thank goodness. Where have you been? You made it. She arrived with Grob this morning. And when I got here, everyone said you'd gone missing. How'd you get here so fast? Kai, you've been missing for more than a day. Really check, Grandpa, is okay. But you're okay? Yes, I am. You helped me back. Crew would never let me uh, let harm come to us. 
The problem was that I was lost. But you found me. And, and I believe I found a guide of your own? She was so strong. So beautiful and strong. I felt safe with her. Can I see her again? She is with you, my child. Some of us are feeling a little left out of the story here. Oh, forgive me. I think we're all missing something important here. The poor girl hasn't eaten for a day. How about I cook you all up a lovely lunch and you can tell us what happened. Perfect. Yeah, I'm starving. You go on ahead of me. I want to just sit in the sun in my garden for a moment. Gather myself. And I saw you. You were on the harbor and it was like I knew you were coming. Oh, so that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Remarkable. Can't believe everything you've done. I'm so proud of you. But it wasn't really about me. I mean, I, I know I helped by balancing all the gardens and stuff. But actually, it was about a different kind of balance. Grandpa got sick because he blamed himself. But his blame was kind of selfish? I don't know what's the wrong... I know, that's the wrong word. No, I know exactly what you mean. Your nana used to talk to me about the same thing. She would say that while she was furious, she knew why Nano had to stay. But she called it a dangerously righteous kind of guilt. Interesting. I'm sorry I feel like I made you come here against her wishes. Oh, love, no... I loved your Nana, but that anger, it wasn't her. A terrible thing happened, and she did her best to get me away from it. But then she was alone. She had to deal with it alone. Can't imagine what it must have been like. I can see why she was angry at Adam for staying. I can see why he stayed. All those letters he wrote, uh, we wrote him, I thought he didn't want us in his life. Turns out, he thought he was protecting us. That's how what he said. We spoke a little. I just... I just stopped to sit by him for a second. Catch my breath from looking for you. And then he woke up. He woke up and he said everything was going to be okay. I'm still a little angry. He spent time trying to be a hero when I needed a dad. But I can forgive him. Mom, how am I supposed to go back to the real world after all this? Huh, and you were so annoyed you had to miss swim camp. But you don't have to leave it behind. Let's try and make this place a part of our lives, okay? Just think of all the mischief Toby can get himself into. Oh man, I so want to introduce him to the dots. Oh, look, Claire's coming. It's such a delight to see you again. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to eat while we were searching. Um, actually, I'm supposed to say Spike's setting up for a photo. Photo? He's kind of an amateur photographer and he wants to get a group shot. To, um, mark the day. Spike is Claire's boss. Mom! <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I have to pass on the message. Well, why not let Kai spread the word? She and I have got all the time to, in the world to catch up. But I want to hear more about you. Tell me about the Spike chap. He wasn't around when I was here, right? Spike's great. He's got his own houseboat and he sings romantic songs and everything. Sounds dreamy. Claire can tell you more. I'll go spread the word about this photo. Oh, that would be lovely. And it would give me time to get my hair done, too. Thank you. Chapter 8 reunion. It's the afternoon. It's Sunday, right? Oh, look at this. 
Hey there, Jitterbug! Did Claire tell you about the photo I want to take? It'd be great if you could pass the message on if you're chatting to folks. Yeah, no problem, Spike. Oh, doesn't she? So chic. I feel so frumpy in comparison. You've got your own style. But she's just so cool. She's definitely confident. That minimalist aesthetic. But I love your aesthetic, too. Cut your hair in these great bold lines. I love the earthy colors you work in uh, dressmaking. You work with in dressmaking. Very woodland nymph. Oh, gosh. I should just be glad to see her. I know. Her feelings are valid, but I think you don't have anything to worry about. Anyway, let's get your edges uh, neatened up for this photo. Um, now... And this is me overanalyzing. I feel like I'm being buttered up before a... Before a horrible ending. I know I was like... I was wrong about the flood and the death and rebirth. But maybe I'm not. Dennis? Starful. It's me. You, troublemaker. Be gone. Urgh. Maybe I should have impersonated Dennis. I'm just saying, people like to send photographs, right? Yeah? Don't encourage them. They're just moving it from pile to pile now. Well, if it doesn't need spreading, I don't see what else there is for us to do. Maybe we can measure the pile delta? Why not diversify an existing market? Enter! Photo cards you can write on and send in the post saving you an envelope! That's a little bit of foreshadowing. Sure, you can't find a shorter name for it. It's quite a complex concept to try and communicate. They want to send postcards. I received a message about the photograph. That stuff is smelly. Indeed. My olfactory senses are generally muted compared to most those of most humanoids, but I may not have time to reduce the stench. This compound, when applied to my outer surfaces, will allow me to spend limited time in sunlight. So you can be in the picture. That is my hope. This is currently fairly rudimentary, and I will only test it for a short amount of time to begin with, but it will be sufficient for the picture. Maybe ask Galen for some sense for it? I suppose there is no use in going above ground, only to be avoided. I mean, I got stuff that might work too, you know. I got tons of seeds and plants and flowers on me. I don't want to hang out in the creepy mall. Okay, game, thank you for letting me know. Instead of making me go in there and seeing nothing. I preach. Tongue's back helping Grob. What is this? Oh, it's that plant. Alright. Well, I didn't need to do that. Hey guys. And you know if you get past the reef, there's a great big eel monster. No, there isn't. You'll find out, my lad. And you'll find out uh, to your peril if you don't make uh, that bark of yours great big eel proof. You're just trying to scare me off your patch. I'm just trying to look out for one of those people who will protect me from dirty diaper changes. It's true, I saw it on my way out there. Oh, wow. Sorry. Deja vu. 
Except maybe I'll hold the baby while you change it. It wouldn't feel like a proper goodbye without an old-fashioned tongue crate to the face. Spike wants everyone in the square for a photo. Sure you're okay? Tell him we've got uh, unloading to do first. Come on, lad. It's the last shift you'll ever do before you get uh, eat by the great big eel. Well, let's not go out west. We know Aelin ain't going to be there, and she's like the only one who's been out there. Opec is where he needs to be. And it was was bigger than my whole body. Oh, nit tip tip took. And we heaved it onto land, and now we have fish skewers for dinner. Hey Po, did you hear about the photo? There's a photograph of the fish. <laughs> no, I, I mean Spike wants to do a group photo. That's a welcome too. Ah, uh, tick nup too. I like photos. I should have took one of the fish. Maybe we can all hold fish skewers. Maybe. Then Mew played the tape right in the middle of the bar. Oh no. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it worked out, but that kind of thing doesn't strike me as something Claire would relish. She's never been one for the spotlight. But it's all worked out now. Early days, but this is the happiest I've seen her in a long while. I'm so glad. Her letters didn't say explicitly, but I did get the feeling she was lonely. She always thinks life is happening to everyone else and not her. I said, in the city you can be surrounded by people and still lonely. Your chap, he passed away a couple years ago. Doesn't go away, does it? Every time a door opens, I feel like I'm going to see him come through it. They walk with us. I'm having trouble understanding it all, to be honest. It'll take us all a little time. But there's no doubt your little one has brought life back to Nano and our little community. And the tree? Which is important because everything is symbiotic or, or something. Oh, well, the gardens are a part of it too. Oh no, but apparently Nano's going to run little lessons on it for all uh, all of all for us. Oh my god, I can't read. Well, she always did have green fingers. I'm right here, guys. I hope you don't mind, Mori, but I'd really like to visit more often. Do you think that would be okay with everyone? Or do you think that would be disruptive? I think it sounds wonderful, love. Absolutely wonderful. Right, right. I'm going to go to the temple real quick and visit Yoki. Um, I don't know if Miu is going to be in her happy place or her house. There you are. It's so delightful to see your mother all grown up. I must say I'm looking forward to having a chat with her. This time I saw her, she was knee high. And a bit of a handful between you and me. So that's where Toby gets it from. Any embarrassing stories or pics you might have? Very welcome. Speaking of photos, Spike wants us all in the square for a group pic. Oh yes, Claire mentioned. I think she's going to come and get me when everyone is ready. In the meantime, I am uh, recording our research for future generations to peruse. I, um, wanted to say thank you for all your help. Well, that is a very kind thing to say. I hope you'll forgive the caution I have shown. It was out of care, but you... You're not my son. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I am too. But you have helped me, my dear. You have helped all of us. 
Mew still seems pretty, um... Some things cannot be fixed. But I think we can see our wounds more clearly now. We will help each other to heal. You'll come back and visit us, won't you? I want to introduce Tobin to the dots! Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, dear child. I'm very pleased to know you. Biffalo, we're back out. All right, temple time. And then we need to find Mew, right? Mew's the only one we haven't found yet. I think. Other than, of course, we need to see Grandpa. Nothing. All right, we're heading back. I just checked the tempo. Right from there. I'll save you guys some time. No, Spike, I don't want to spend time with you yet. Grandpa's up here. Mew is not. To see a garden grow is remarkable. As remarkable as it is ordinary. I feel the same about the young woman you have grown into. Though the credit is obviously Gaia's. We'll still stay in contact, right? Try and stop me. I believe that Spike wishes to take a photo as well. First thing I shall do when uh, they are developed is send you a copy. Yeah, yeah. How lucky, how lucky. I feel like I should have something grand or important to say. Know the feeling. But this is not an ending. Really the closing of a chapter. A very fine chapter. But with many adventures yet to come. Don't worry. I'll be done in a little while. For now I have some sunshine to soak in. So if Mio is not up here, that means I gotta check her happy place all the way out east. Oh, wow. It was you, wasn't it? What was? Over two years of careful record and study. And the tree only got worse. In one week, you did more than I could in two years. You might have been the only thing that kept Papu. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I just... I feel like I have been missing a bigger picture. You think Tung's going to be alright? He's a good lad. Much better than he gives himself credit for. I have great hopes that his, this will be the making of him. Feels as though we are at a new beginning. Thank you for your part in it. And now... I know, I know. Stop being so noisy and leave you to meditate. Ha! Ah, that that's the first time I've heard you laugh. Oh dear, very uncouth, very uncouth. See you in the square for the group photo? Certainly, certainly. Check on the shaman too. Where else would Mew be if not her pool? Nit nup tick. Tick tick do. Nup the tick. Nit. Well, it was more complicated than that. But thank you. Tick tick nit. Teen tick. I might bring my brother back to meet you. Nit nit. 
Top nut tick do. Exactly. Oh, and there's a group photo later if any of you would like to be in it. Nit nit tick do. Bye. Tick tip do. Tick wheel done. Enough tick do. Thank you. Well, that was a quick conversation. All right, so Mew is next, right? That's the last one. So her pool. Oh, I guess I didn't have to go all the way to her pool. She's right here. I almost didn't see her. Oh my god. Hey. I've been meaning to ask, in your vision, you didn't see anybody, did you? I, I didn't see our deed. I saw some stuff. But I was, I don't know, in places to do with me and Nino. Everyone acts like he died, but he didn't. He did terrible things, but he didn't die. He was driven from his mind, Nano said. He disappeared. I feel like if I knew he was really gone, it would be easier to move on. I saw Spike was fussing about getting a photo of everyone. We can talk if you want. I just wanted someone to tell me how to start. Like, I lost everything. I didn't know where to start. The garden? I think I need something from before. A piece of who I was. I'm going to keep this garden going. Go through the motions until I start to feel stuff again. And then, when I'm ready... I think we need to pull these ruins down. Build something new. Well, that sounds like a really good idea. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's go here. I think that's it. That's everybody. Let's, uh, let's take this picture. Okay, I'm about ready here. Let's bring everyone in. Am I in shot? It's a lot, a lot of noise. Oh, it's such a delight you're here. Your hair looks good, Claire. Is her her park's just on the other side, isn't it? I don't know. I love the clean lines. Well, my coffee's getting cold. Look, just as soon as the sun comes out from behind that cloud, we'll be ready. I knew there was a use for my chain of floating reflective surfaces to re redirect light device. Yep, nub. Just as soon as you work out how to moor mirrors. It's such a pleasure to stand with you all. The compound for protection against UV and UVA rays appears to be effective. Come on, now I can't hold this grimace all day. Nip, nip. Frowning is cooler, anyway. We'll pick that fish you caught is going to give us a fine feast tonight. We'll have fish to stock for days. Really there, folks. Someone tell me when the sun is out. I find my cheeks unable to sustain, sustain a, a smile for long. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it's only been a week since I first met you all. Going to miss this jitterbug? It's been a delight, all those wonderful gardens. <clears throat> and the recovery of someone very precious to, to us. Very funny. I think he's ready. Here we go. Ready? As we'll ever be. One. Two. Three!
All right, so Aelin was still pregnant. I was wrong about that, or at least I was wrong within the, the scope of the game. I still think it happens. And of course, I was wrong about the flood too, but I still think that happens too. I, I'm not, I mean, it may not, who knows, you know? They, it's not in the game, let's just put it that way. The tree is back to life and maybe it just does not happen anymore. All right, so what did I think of the game? Um, I, I obviously, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's in the, um, it's in that upper echelon of, of modern, uh, character focused narrative point and click type games, right? It's, I think Kentucky Route Zero is, is like the king, but then you've got like Night in the Woods, you've got Mutazioni, and maybe you can squeeze in like Oxen Free in there. And, and one of the things that these all have in common is the way they do dialogue uh, and the way they show text on the screen. It's almost like its own character, right? It, it can jiggle, it can be small to convey a whisper, it can do all these different things and help give personality and help give tone. Uh, it's done well in all four of those games. All four of those games do that. So the, so the boilerplate for this game the a mutant soap opera is pretty darn apt, right? It's perfect. It's short and it tells you exactly what the game is. It is a damn soap opera. I really like how it um how everyone had uh, varying degrees of of, of facades, right? To, to hide their past uh, errors or past fears or or just or past um, hurt, pain, you know. They all have varying degrees of, of these facades, and, and it really delved into there is a story behind every person, right? And it did it so well. And I think I, I mentioned this not too long ago in, in a previous episode, but it I think this is a game that, that you can remember because of the characters. And more and more, as, as I, I get older and play games, I, I, I realize that people don't always remember stories in, in video games. I mean, some of them, they're, they're going to, right? Uh, and To the Moon is an easy story to remember. But I think more and more that people remember characters and not stories. And that your fondness for a game over time will be largely based on, on characters. Of course, perhaps not for everybody, right? Everybody's different, but I, I think a lot of people are like that. And in Mutazioni, they... You cared about all the characters, even they're all flawed in their in their own ways, right? But you cared about all of them in, in different ways, and I think that's going to make it a very um, memorable game. I, I really liked how they how the the story of of the grandfather progressed because we're introduced to him, and and he's he seems like the typical mentor type character, right? Like he's there to serve the purpose of of the protagonist, right, of Kai, that he's there to train her or teach her or bring her into his position, or right, to replace him and whatnot. And that's not really how it panned out, right? He had his own story to tell. He had his own faults. He wasn't right about some things. He was there to figure out things for himself, too. And I really liked how it didn't fall into that, that mentor trope, at least not fully. Wow, such a great game. Um, okay, uh, if, if you guys really like this, I definitely recommend checking out Kentucky Route Zero, Night in the Woods, and Oxen Free. Um, I don't really recommend watching my Kentucky Route Zero series because I started it when I was new to YouTube and I was awful and my audio was awful. Um, not that it was much better in this series. But um, definitely check it out. It is, it is the most unique game ever. Night in the Woods is probably one of my mo most popular series. I, I've, I've done it twice. I did it once on YouTube and once on Twitch, and, and I've got them both on YouTube now. And I'll, I'll put links to all these below in case you guys want to check it out. But Night in the Woods, um, it, it's same kind of, you know, group character narrative type story. These are all like that. And um, if you like this, you'll definitely like Night in the Woods. Check it out. And lastly, Oxenfree. Oxenfree, I wouldn't put it completely in the same character uh, or same... Uh, category as as the other three it's a it's a little different but it's still very well done it's a very interesting story with with interesting characters and the dialogue is fantastic uh i have a playthrough of that as well but obviously i recommend you play through it on your own 
So check those all out. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next after this game. I have a couple games up my sleeve, a couple narrative games up my sleeve. Hopefully I can start those uh, sometime soon. Till then, thank you guys for uh, playing this game with me. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.